from East Coast Health Reviews. Today, we're doing another beer review. This is actually a beer that I got from Bumpy Road Brewery. So shout out to Bumpy, thank you very much. The modest man that you had me try the other one, I forgot the name of it, but it was very good. Um, this is Modest Man and Fidens collaboration. This is the infamous, no date on the bottom of the can, but they're from Bumpy's uh, hometown, so I'm guessing that they're pretty fresh. Um, 8.5% ABV, double IPA. Uh, it says Galaxy Citra Mosaic Hops, a collaboration of Modest Man Mega and Fidens Eugene, Eugene Zacks. Made in Keene, New Hampshire. So I will say, um, I was driving and I had to hit the brakes and this four pack that Bumpy gave me hit the floor, hit the floor of my car. Um, and I thought the beers were fine, but I was taking them off the, the tab here. And this one started fizzing out the top. So I was like, I gotta dive into it and do this review. Uh, but yeah, let's crack this open. I'm sure it should be good. That was about maybe like an hour ago. So I'm sure it's still got its carbonation. It smells like it's gonna be a juice bomb, just from the can. So let's go for the pour on this. I got my streets glass. Looks good. Looks really good. Yeah. Hazy, golden orange color. Nice, viscous, viscousy, thick haziness to it. Foamy white head. Looks like it's gonna leave like a nice lacing. And uh, yeah, aroma. Definitely peach. And I'm, I'm thinking papaya as well, because me and Bumpy were actually talking about it yesterday. I said that one of the triples that I had kind of had like a um, like a weird, like funky pasta note, but maybe I'm just Maybe it was kind of reminding me of that for some odd reason. But he said maybe it's the papaya that I'm smelling because it kind of has that like earthy spiciness to it. Like an earthy tropical fruit. So yeah, I would say like peach, papaya. No idea where um, pasta would come into play when you're smelling papaya, but... I don't know. That's why these beer reviews are fun, because you never know what you're going to smell. But yeah, orange, citrus, peach papaya, mango, nice sweetness to it, some, some breadiness, white bread. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like your typical... New England, not typical, but you're, it smells like a New England juice bomb. It smells very good. Lots of tropical fruits, a little citrusy, nice breadiness, really good amount of sweetness to it, like sweet malts. So let's dive in. Let's try this one out. Enough rambling. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the carbonation is still good. So it didn't go flat for my uh, drive home. Carbonation is still there. I'd say it's about medium carbonation. Very nice. Um, like pillowy, soft, creamy mouthfeel on this. Yeah, peach is definitely the dominant flavor up front. Peach. It's so creamy, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like vanilla. It kind of reminds you of that, but not like that full on vanilla flavor, of course, just kind of like the creaminess that you would get from like vanilla. Really good amount of sweetness as well with this beer. Lingering hop resin, oily finish as well. Yeah, peach, pineapple, mango, grapefruit on the finish, grapefruit. Yeah, like orange and grapefruit finish. Peach, pineapple, mango on the palate, on the upfront flavor. Nice sweetness, Cyclops scale. It's got, it's got a good amount of hop resin. It's got a good amount of hop resin floral finish to it. I'd say like uh, three and a half, three and a half out of five hop cones. Sugar cubes, you get sweetness, but it's not like overly sweet. It's definitely very well balanced. It's a good beer. And I'm not just hyping it up because Bumpy um, gave this to me. I actually think it's a really good beer. I'm gonna give this a good score. 
Uh, sugar cubes, like I said, uh, two out of five. This, it's, it's a little, I don't wanna say lacking, but it's definitely lighter on the sweetness. I think that what I'm more used to with um, the New England IPAs, but it's, it's, it's good, it tastes really good, I enjoy this. Um, All around good beer for rating, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna go with 96. 96 out of 100. Really good, really, really, really good. Definitely competes with the Proclamation um, Double New Englands that I usually ran rave and talk about, especially on like live stream and hanging out off air and stuff. Definitely comparable to them. Um, yeah, great, great stuff for these guys. I like to know. I don't know what their uh, the price was. If anybody knows the price of this, um, just leave it in the comments. Let me know. Um, I know Bumpy usually doesn't really even check the price, so he he might not know. But if somebody knows the price of this, let me know. And yeah, I got three other beers to review that Bumpy gave me, so I'm super excited for that. Um, I uh, actually brought like nine different beers. To Bumpy's. Me, John, and Bumpy had a fair amount of them. I think th uh, I think three cans I left there for Bumpy. Um, I think one, two. I think there were two of them were triple IPAs, and one was a um, uh, one was just a single IPA. One of the triples was actually a collaboration with Mass Landing, I believe. And then the other one is a collaboration with Dissolver, and they were all, I gave them three different proclamation beers. Um, so I'm looking forward to see those reviews, Bumpy. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. Um, hanging out with you was awesome. I definitely had a great time. Uh, he did a great job welcoming me into his household and uh, really making me feel comfortable. And um, yeah, I appreciate hanging out with you, Bumpy. So uh, cheers to you. And uh, cheers to Modest Man and Fightins. This is great. I, I'm really excited to try the other one, the other Modest Man you gave me. Um, and yeah, if there's anything else that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Like beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.